get a chance to ballot. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. But we're bringing it all back. We're bringing it all back. Feel the light shining like the stars tonight. Remember what we forgot. I know it's a long shot. But we're bringing it all back. We're bringing it all back. The premier golf event of the year is just around the corner. The 19th annual Vamos Cup Golf Tournament. Presented by Doctors Hospital at Renaissance. It's Saturday, March 7th at Palmview Golf Course. Over $20,000 in prizes to be awarded. Hole-in-one vehicles from the San Juan Luxury Auto Group dealerships at each par 3. For more information, call 631-1273. Join us and help Vamos award four-year scholarships to graduating high school students of the Rio Grande Valley. Deadline enters March 2nd. Don't miss it. Vamos! From the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. All new details in the ongoing disturbance inside the Willis County Immigration Detention Facility. Facility officials say two correctional officers and one inmate are hurt. They were hurt in the confrontation. Our Kirk Chason is on the scene. He's been there all afternoon. Kirk, how many inmates involved in this disturbance? Yeah, yeah we're now being told it's about 2,000 people that uh, are involved in this 2,000 offenders, which is a lot more than what we were originally told of just three or 400. Those injuries, again, to the correctional officers and the offender are said to be minor, but we don't have any more details than that at this time. Now, this all began early this morning when some of the inmates refused to come out and perform their work detail and they refused to eat breakfast. They were apparently upset over the quality of the medical care that they are receiving here. I'm going to step out of the picture now and let our cameraman, Betty Berry, zoom in and show you something here. One of these tents right in the middle, in fact, a few of them, you can see that their tents are, are being torn, are a little bit torn up and there's some flaps there. That's all damaged caused by these inmates. Now, we're going to go to some video that tells you and shows you exactly what happened. When we first got here around 1245, there weren't many law enforcement officers on the west side of the facility here securing the perimeter. All the offenders were inside. Then shortly after one, we started to hear some pops inside. Several dozen, maybe a couple hundred men started to come out. By 120, we started to see smoke billowing up from these tents here. We are told three fires were set by the inmates. Several of the inmates were out. They started making a lot of noise. They started rattling some of the poles on the inside. And we started to hear more gunfire and pops. What we are told is that they used non-lethal force, tear gas, during this confrontation. More law enforcement agencies continued to stream in during the course of the day. And eventually, a Department of Public Safety helicopter showed up. And that helicopter is still here hovering over the situation right now. Still a lot of law enforcement here at this location at this time. We've seen a little bit of a shifting, we, but we do have federal, state, and local agencies here. So again, not sure about the extent or nature of the injuries, and but we are told that this is still an ongoing confrontation, and so the prison officials are still talking with the offenders who are involved, trying to come to a peaceful resolution on this. Again, a very large law enforcement presence still here. Reporting live from Willisie County, Kirk Chase on Channel 5 News at 5. Well, that uh, disturbance uh, and or riot there at that prison, uh, putting some Raymondville schools on alert this afternoon. The superintendent put three schools on a soft lockdown earlier today. Channel 5's John Bartell is live outside of Raymondville High School. John, you're continuing our team coverage. Yeah, that's right. We're actually live out here at Raymondville High School here, and uh, this is just a mile from the prison here. We've actually been watching the helicopters uh, fly around the facility uh, for most of the day right now. Uh, it looks like they've moved around the corner here, but now the superintendent didn't want to take any chances today, so that's why he kept all of the students inside the classrooms here. Now, if you take a look behind me, you're not going to see any students on campus right now. All that's here is just some few campus police and some teachers. 
teachers left behind. Uh, and that's because as immediately after the last bell here, uh, the superintendent sent everyone home. He went another step here and also canceled all the sports practices tonight and any other after school functions. Now, uh, there have been three schools so far that we know have been uh, on, on this lockdown today, and that was the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school here. Now, as we know so far, tomorrow all classes will be uh, resuming tomorrow at their regularly scheduled time. That means the buses will be out uh, picking up the children at the normal times. If something changes, we will let you know, though. We're live out here in Raymondville. John Bartell, Channel 5 News at 5. And you can track the latest developments on the disturbance at the immigrant detention facility on our website at krgv.com. And we're also right at your fingertips with our KRGV mobile app. It's available right now for any smartphone user. Now at five, folks with government health insurance may have to wait a little longer for their tax refunds. The White House just announced a major glitch. 800,000 healthcare.gov customers were sent the wrong tax information. Our Sandra Quintanilla is live with a closer look at what this means for folks right here in the Valley. The number of Valley people enrolled in the Affordable Care Act is still being tallied, so we don't have a clear count, and we don't know if any of them are among those impacted. One resident we spoke with is keeping her fingers crossed. San Juanita Gonzalez enrolled in the Affordable Care Act last year. She pays just under $100 a month for her health insurance. She says it's a blessing. For me, it's good because I visit the doctor a lot. I need to go and the insurance helps me. Gonzalez says she's thankful for this inexpensive health insurance, but she hopes a glitch in the system won't affect her tax refund. She worries she may be one of the many Americans who may have to wait longer for the returns this year because the government sent them wrong tax information. I don't know because I haven't received any letter. A letter tell me about this, but now that you've told me about this, I'm concerned. I hope it doesn't push back my income tax refund, but I'll have to wait. There's nothing I can do. I'll just have to wait. Gonzalez signed up for Obamacare here at Nuestra Clinica del Valle in San Juan. So did some 6,200 other people since the open enrollment program kicked off two years ago. The center's director for outreach um, enrollment, Christian Munoz, says they're waiting to learn more information. They especially want to know if any of their clients were impacted. We always want to be one step ahead, so we'll, we'll definitely be doing our research tonight and getting, making sure that we're prepared uh, for when we start to receive calls, because more than likely we will receive calls, uh, because we did help so many people out to receive this insurance. He says for now, they'll deal with calls on a case-by-case -case basis. If there was any error, it doesn't mean that there can be a small delay with their return. We're still learning more about the situation, but hopefully it doesn't impact too many people here. But in case it does, uh, we're willing to try to help as much as we can to alleviate the situation. Munoz hopes the impact is minimal. He says many folks under the Affordable Care Act are low-income families who are anxiously waiting for their tax returns. This afternoon, Congressman Ruven Hinojosa's office released a statement about the tax error. He says he's concerned and is working with the federal agencies to determine what happened and see that the problem is corrected as quickly as possible. You can read his full statement later on our website at krgv.com. Live in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Sandra Quintanilla, Channel 5 News at 5. Latest on immigration and executive action and an injunction. The Justice Department now looking into a delay, a federal judge's decision to temporarily block the president's action to protect 5 million illegal immigrants from deportation. We just learned the feds will file the paperwork ASAP. Our Carrie Zayas has even more information from our newsroom. Carrie? Melissa, the Justice Department wants to file that paperwork on Monday. It's going to be filed at the federal courthouse in Brownsville. But this decision is completely separate from the administration's plan to appeal Judge Andrew Hannon's decision to delay the president's executive actions. Now, the Obama administration said today that it will ask a judge to allow it to continue with plans to offer protection from deportation. If Judge Hannon denies this request, the administration could file an appeal with the fifth Circuit Court of Appeals and then later with the Supreme Court. Uh, as we have reported here, Hannon issued the order on Monday. 
in a lawsuit that was filed by Texas and 26 other states. Hannon agrees with the state's filing when they say Obama overstepped his legal authority. The first piece of the immigration program was supposed to roll out on Wednesday. It would have prevented deportation for up to 5 million adults who have been in this country since 2010. If the administration wins a stay, Judge Hannon's ruling would not have any legal effect while an appeal is pending. You can count on Channel 5 to keep you updated on all of the latest developments. Live in the newsroom, Carrie Zayas, Channel 5 News at 5. The Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection was in the Valley today. Gil Kurlikowski runs the largest federal law enforcement agency in the U.S. Leti Garza is in our studio. And Leti, what was the purpose of the Commissioner's visit to the Valley? Well, Oscar, he was in town today visiting the University of Texas Brownsville campus. The Commissioner says he is monitoring the violence across our border. It was just two weeks ago when a student was kidnapped from the UT Brownsville parking lot. The male victim said two people People hopped the parking lot fence, then threatened him with a gun. They forced the 19-year-old to drive to a Whataburger off Interstate 69E. The man and the woman got out of the victim's car and jumped into another. The victim says he was unharmed, and the gunman gave him 200 Mexican pesos for the ride. In the meantime, the commissioner acknowledged the local surge of law enforcement on our border. He says the relationship with DPS and National Guard has been positive. The National Guard has been used multiple times at, at, at different uh, at different levels, and it's almost always focused on alerting the Border Patrol or alerting Air and Marine to to concerns. You don't see them involved in the enforcement activities. There's some additional eyes, uh, uh, and we're willing to and happy to work under the right conditions with all of these groups. Well, the National Guard troops were sent in this past summer at the order of then Governor Rick Perry. They were deployed in response to the massive surge of illegal immigrants. They're scheduled to stay through May. CBP employs 60,000 people with a budget of $12.4 billion. Live in the studio, I'm Leti Garza, Channel 5 News at 5. Meanwhile, the Border Patrol is moving forward with body cameras. The technology now being tested before the program rolls out nationwide. About three dozen agents are wearing the cameras for a total of 90 days. Agents in El Paso are part of this pilot program. The cameras can be mounted on the head or chest, and they can record up to six hours. Windy, warm across the valley today. Temperatures did make it to 80 across a lot of the area. We're beginning to cool back off now. It's 72 Brownsville, Harlingen and West Logo both at 75, McAllen 78. But look at the wind out of the south, southeast at 28. Break that down a little more. Look at the wind speeds across the valley. Look at the latest gust in Brownsville, 43 miles per hour. It is a very windy afternoon. Now that wind should die down a bit tonight and tomorrow we'll see a little bit of a wind, but not like today. Close look at that forecast coming up in a few minutes. Border Patrol agents are now looking for that antelope that escaped from the zoo. A helicopter is reportedly on its way to help, too. Here's a look at where the antelope was supposed to be inside the Greater Kudu exhibit at the Gladys Border Zoo. However, it jumped two fences as it was being delivered Wednesday. Authorities think the antelope is somewhere in the brush about a mile from the river. The animal is in the best possible place for the animal. He's got cover, he's got water, he's got plenty of food, he's in perfect habitat, and until we get the correct resources in place, we want him to stay right where he is. He probably will. The zoo's director says the zoo is working to get the required permits for that chopper search. It's coming from Orange Grove. That chopper specializes in tracking and herding animals. Orange Grove is northwest of Alice. We have ongoing concerns about uh, ISIL's propaganda techniques and their outreach. A search is on for three teenage girls from London who are believed to be heading to Syria to join ISIS. What authorities are using to convince the girls to come back home. And the Texas Attorney General says a judge's decision to give a lesbian couple permission to wed is casting needless doubt on the state's gay marriage ban. What is he demanding now? You're watching Channel 5 News at 5. Breaking news. Breaking stories. This is Channel 5 News with Oscar Adame, Melissa Correa, 
and First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. This is Channel 5 News at 5. Drive a 2015 Cadillac CTS for just $4.49 per month. Come discover a new standard of luxury ownership at Bird Ogden Cadillac Mission. Dalegas. So I can wish for anything? Yes. A puppy. Affordable home internet. Well, I can make that wish come true. Excuse me? With Time Warner Cable's everyday low-price internet, you get the speed and reliability you need for surfing and emailing for $14.99 a month. Until it goes up. No, that's the price. And it's backed by their better guarantee. Well, that sounds perfect, actually. Do you know where the nearest pet store is? <laughs> Call now to get everyday low-price internet for $14.99 per month. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. When you're fighting cancer, it helps to have your support network by your side. That's why Texas Oncology brings the latest technology and research to your neighborhood. So you can fight cancer next to the ones you love. Whether you're just out with a best friend, Best dressed for an evening out. Ford Fuel Economy is best in the long run. And sync with my Ford Touch is your best call. Now get up to 3500 cash back on Fusion or choose zero for 60 plus a thousand bonus cash. Ford is the best in Texas. Looking for a real deal on a car, truck, or SUV? Focus has nothing but real deals. Save yourself the headache of a tricky car dealer. Get real savings on every Ford we have in stock. And see for yourself why it's better at Bogus. Right now, get into a 2014 Ford F-154x4 for just $2.99 a month. Or get a fuel-efficient 2014 Ford Focus for only $1.79 a month. Real deals. It's better at Bogus. In Harlingen, in McAllen, and always at BogusFord.com. The Scotland Yard says they believe three teenage girls from London are on their way to Syria to join ISIS. Yeah, officials are even using social media to coax the teens to return to England before they cross Turkey's border. ABC's Karen Travers has more at 5. The hunt is on for these three young girls. Scotland Yard has issued an urgent appeal for the London teenagers seen in the surveillance video. They were reported missing by their families earlier this week, and law enforcement officials believe they may be heading to Syria via Turkey and trying to link up with ISIS fighters. We would appeal to anyone that's information to either here or in Turkey to go to, to the police. The girls, two 15-year-olds and a 16-year-old, are close friends from the same East London school. Two are of Bangladeshi background, one Ethiopian. British officials say they don't know if the girls made contact with any radical extremists in person or through social media. All we know is that the, the three girls have traveled of their own volition against the wishes of their parents without telling their parents uh, and they're in danger. This scenario is exactly what U.S. officials have been warning about. Terror groups recruiting vulnerable young people with false promises and slick videos. President Obama said yesterday that's why it's not enough to confront ISIS with just a military response. When people, especially young people, feel entirely trapped in impoverished communities, that feeds instability and disorder and makes those communities ripe for extremist recruitment. Three young American girls who tried to make that same trip into Syria last fall were found in Germany and returned to their parents. British officials say they hope these girls are found before they cross the Syrian border. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. When you set out to find new roads, you make safety a priority. Pioneer connectivity. Elevate form. Reinvent a category. Obsess over perfection and you attract a lot of attention. Chevrolet, the most awarded car company of 2014. Right now, current GM owners can get 1250 total cash allowance on this 2015 Equinox LT. See your Rio Grande Valley Chevy dealers. 
Got right it. now, save $5,500 off MSRP on 2015 Suburbans at $5,000 off MSRP on Tahoes during Truck Month. Plus, save $10,000 off MSRP on a 2014 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab with GM owner loyalty and trade assistance. Come celebrate with us where the party and the savings never stop. Meet Fiesta. Es su fiesta. Fiesta Chevrolet Edinburgh. This is where the NBA starts. This is how NBA rosters are built. This is the NBA in the RGV. Come see your RGV Vipers take on the main Red Claws Thursday, February 19th. Then it's Vipers versus Iowa Energy Saturday, February 21st. Games presented by Matt's Building Materials and Lone Star National Bank. For tickets, call 972-1144 or visit Ticketmaster.com. RGV Vipers versus the main Red Claws. RGV Vipers versus the Iowa Energy. Be there. Security First Credit Union has helped generations of Valley families realize their dreams. We were there from the beginning, there for your first financial success, there for the big steps and the small. When your family joins Security First, you can trust your financial future to the credit union that's been part of Valley life since 1947. With 16 branches from Brownsville to Palmview, we'll be there for generations to come. Security First Credit Union. Always family. Always first. More excitement, more adventure, more tunes, more versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose from 15 models with 0% APR financing for up to 60 months. Or save up to 2500 on the 27 MPG Highway Pathfinder. Get to Nissan now. Offers end March 2nd. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. And now, First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Hey folks, take a look at the view outside today. The wind really going strong out there. And as it blows like that, gusts are over 35 miles an hour across the area. And what that means is that it's just nasty trying to get out and about this afternoon and likely is going to stay that way into the evening hours. Look at our current temperature, see where we stand right now. And readings at this hour, we made 80 for a while, but we're back in the 70s, except at the island where it's 66. But these wind gusts, 40 miles an hour, Wesleco, 43 in Brownsville, just the last hour. Now let's see what's going to happen tonight into tomorrow. Wednesday out of the south. Here's your chart up here. So the yellow means 25 to 30. It dies down a little bit tonight, but not much. Tomorrow afternoon, we're still in this range in the eastern part of the valley. That's 11 a.m. We'll take a look, though. By 8 o'clock tomorrow night, the wind almost fades away completely. Goes to light almost. Stays that way most of tomorrow night. Sunday, we have light winds, maybe 10 to 15 miles an hour. Where's the front? Aha, there it is. Late night, Sunday night, early Monday morning. Front rushes through, north winds build in. It gets gusty again, and it gets messy again on Monday. Temperature-wise... Tomorrow, look at that, 89 in Star County, 81 Brownsville, 73 at the island. If you look at the next three days, we stay above average for two of them. Then the front comes in, and Monday, they just plummet, 65 on Monday. Satellite and radar pretty quiet. Patchy clouds late, to, late last night and early this morning. Future track says the southeast wind stays with us tonight into tomorrow. Not as windy tomorrow afternoon. Some sunshine, breezy conditions. By Sunday, still a mix of clouds and sun, but Sunday night, Monday morning, that's... When the cool front comes in and when it comes in, we see some showers showing up, light rain, drizzle, chilly conditions likely for early next week. Dry, late Sunday, 20% chance of rain, and then Monday, about a 50% probability of some showers. So tonight, 65, mainly cloudy, breezy, and very mild. Southeasterly winds 10 to 20. Then tomorrow, back to 86, windy, more humid. The southeasterly winds continue. Here we go, next seven days. Look at the change from Sunday to Monday, 83, and then 65, and that 65, might be optimistic. We may spend a lot of Monday in the 50s, if not all of it. Maybe back to 60 on Tuesday, but then look at Wednesday and Thursday. Back to the low 70s again. Another front on Friday. We drop it off one more time. But the next couple of days, the weekend looks great. Looks like the front holds off until late on Sunday. So your outdoor activities should be just fine. That's your updated First One Five forecast. We'll be right back. Meet the Mitsubishi Mirage. 
It's amazing where one gallon of gas can take you. The all-new 2014 Mitsubishi Mirage, the most fuel-efficient non-hybrid in the country. Starting under 13,000, it's a small car for a big life. Take a test drive at Payne Mission or Payne Brownsville Mitsubishi. We have what you want. Whether your dream escape to the country is just a few acres with a weekend home, a sprawling ranch to pursue that deer of a lifetime, or a peaceful place in the piney woods, Capital Farm Credit is the only lender you need to know. For nearly a century, we have provided financing solutions, helping Texans realize their dreams of land ownership. So my question is, why not Capital Farm Credit? We're the answer. The premier golf event of the year is just around the corner. The 19th annual Vamos Cup Golf Tournament presented by Doctors Hospital at Renaissance. It's Saturday, March 7th at Palmview Golf Course. Over $20,000 in prizes to be awarded. Hole-in-one vehicles from the San Juan Luxury Auto Group dealerships at each par three. For more information, call 631-1273. Join us and help Vamos award four-year scholarships to graduating high school students of the Rio Grande Valley. Deadline enters March 2nd. Don't miss it. Vamos! Thank you, South Texas. Lax wants to show our appreciation to everyone for once again making us your number one furniture store. Everything in South Texas' largest home furnishing selection is on sale. Everything with no down payment and no interest for 36 months. Or save an extra 10% off the sale price when you pay cash. Save even more with free Lax delivery. It's just our way of saying thanks for making Lax number one. Because at Lax, you're number one to us. Get power, performance, and up to 41 highway MPG from the 2015 Dodge Dart. Just $14,995. Only at Burt Ogden Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram on the expressway in Harlingen. You can't import American pride. Dolly gas. The Texas Attorney General is making an example out of one gay couple's marriage. The Texas Attorney General has asked the state's Supreme Court to, de to declare their marriage invalid. Suzanne Bryan and Sarah Goodfriend got married yesterday. A judge in Travis County granted that special order, while the Texas AG says that is going to create legal chaos if the state Supreme Court doesn't step in and invalidate the marriage. The county clerk says no way. The court order that I received only applies to this one couple, and the judge deemed it a, uh, an, an important exception based on recent rulings. This couple is medically fragile. That's because good friend has ovarian cancer and having a marriage license would allow the family to make decisions about care and finances. The Texas AG taking the fight one step further. He wants to block Travis County from issuing any more same-sex marriage licenses. To the superbug outbreak in California, an 18-year-old student, one of the potential victims of the outbreak at UCLA Medical Center. Nearly 200 patients were exposed to the drug-resistant bacteria known as CRE. There are seven confirmed cases so far. Officials say two deaths could be linked to the bacteria. The bug spread on contaminated endoscopes used during endoscopy procedures between October and January. UCLA says it followed manufacturer sterilization guidelines and now has even stricter uh, processes in place. We'll be right back. You're watching Channel 5 News at 5. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Encore, the expectation shattering crossover from Buick. Wow. During the Buick President's Day event, current Buick or GMC lessees get $4,500 toward the purchase of the 2014 Encore when you finance through select lenders. Looking for designer glasses? Get Coach, Fendi, Armani, and many more for the best prices at iMart Express. Or choose two complete pairs, frames, and lenses for $39. Two pairs with no-line bifocals for $99, all with a free one-year warranty. And you can wear your glasses today. We'll text you when they're ready. You get a lot more for less at iMart Express. Most insurance accepted. In Brownsville, next to Target, and in McAllen, next to Applebee's in front of Burlington Coat Factory. Right now, save $5,500 off MSRP on 2015 Suburbans and $5,000 off MSRP on Tahoe's at Bird Ogden Chevrolet in Mission. 
Choose from more than 1,500 Chevys on the lot today during Truck Month. Save 10,000 off MSRP on a 2014 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab with GM owner loyalty and trade assistance. But hurry in, because these deals are going fast. At Bird Ogden Chevrolet, Brian Road at Expressway 83 Mission. Dolly Goss. It can happen to the young and to the young at heart. Sometimes life's little aches and pains are something more and won't go away with time. The Orthopedic Center at Harlingen Medical Center is here to help relieve pain and restore activity to your lifestyle. Our dedicated board-certified doctors treat patients of all ages, providing individualized care and utilizing the most advanced technology to diagnose and treat bone, joint, ligament, and muscle disorders. If it's broken or hurts, you'll want to come here. The Orthopedic Center at Harlingen Medical Center. We are the community's choice. More excitement, more adventure, more tunes, more versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose the 38 MPG Highway Altima and save up to $32.50. Or save up to $12.50 on the 33 MPG Highway Road. Get to Nissan now. Bonus cash and soon. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. Winds continue into the evening, and tomorrow still breezy, but not as windy as today. Sunday looks pretty good. By Monday, it gets cooler again, cloudy with drizzle. Cool again on Tuesday. We rebound to the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. An update for you at 6 o'clock. I just can't wait for Sunday. It's going to be such a delightful little day. Here we are, end of the week already. Good day for the antelope. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking with us. We made it to Friday. Here we go. Have yourself a great evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Closed captioning brought to you by Channel 5 and Clark Chevrolet McAllen. What if I told you affordable luxury is not a myth? Did you know that at Bird Ogden Infinity in Denver, you can get luxury, performance, safety, and affordability too? Like the 2015 Infinity Q40 for just $229 per month. With luxury cars for less than $300 per month, you owe it to yourself to stop in today. Find affordable luxury with world-class style and exceptional service at Bird Ogden Infinity in Edinburgh. Dolly Goss. Come experience the new luxury lineup from Lincoln and see how Bogus redefines personalized customer service. This is real luxury. And Bogus is the Valley's only destination for Lincoln. Right now, you can lease a 2015 Lincoln MKC for only $3.59 a month or lease a 2015 Lincoln Navigator for only $6.49 a month. Bogus Lincoln and McAllen, just off Highway 83 and west of Bogus Ford. It's better at Bogus. It's pancake time again. On February 28th from 7 to 10 a.m., we'll be cooking up the flapjacks and pouring on the syrup for the all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast. Tickets are $3, and all the proceeds go to Teach the Children to provide kids in the Rio Grande Valley with school supplies and clothing. So join us for breakfast at any Whataburger in the Rio Grande Valley. Enjoy some great pancakes and help some great kids. You're watching KRGV, Channel 5, Westlaco. On this Friday night, two breaking stories, the major weekend storm, treacherous driving, 100 million Americans, 25 states, the system moving from Denver to Atlanta to the Northeast. Breaking developments in the American sniper trial, the witness who says the accused killer, seen here as a Marine, knew exactly what he was doing. The ABC News exclusive, the kidnap victim rescued in the woods by the FBI, the surveillance, the moment they try to get to her. The superbug, the deadly hospital infection, two dead, five sick, nearly 180 exposed. And now the warning to hospitals across the country. And Robin Roberts with Neil Patrick Harris tonight, host of the Oscars, the big reveal about magic this year. And Hugh Jackman is here with advice for the new host. From ABC News World Headquarters, this is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening. As we come on the air this Friday night, several developing stories, and we begin with that giant weekend storm that will affect tens of millions. It comes amid deadly cold already. More than 70 records broken today. And tonight, in Tennessee alone, 18 people have died. 
In the Northeast tonight, they are now using drones to check on roofs they're concerned about. More than 100 have collapsed in Massachusetts alone. And look at this, a Coast Guard cutter breaking through the ice, trying to get to a stranded ship. And this is what's coming. Horrific driving in Kansas City, Missouri in the last 24 hours. The track and where this hits and when in a moment. But we begin with ABC's Tom Yamas on the cold already deadly tonight. Tom. David, good evening. Because of the record snowfall and the dangerously low temperatures, areas like this, a marina just outside of Boston Harbor, where boats are literally frozen to the dock, are going to take a while to thaw out. The ice here, rock solid. An Arctic blast shattering records in at least 70 cities from Florida to Michigan. I've never seen it like this. <laughs> I mean, last year was bad, but this year is definitely a lot worse. 